Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel SciTechGuru. In this video, I'll like to compare the Geek Benchmark 5 scores between all of these three smartphones which I got right now. Starting with the Dimensity 1200 from the Realme X1 Max device, and next is the Moto H20 which has got the Snapdragon 768G processor, and third is the iQOO 7 device which has got the Snapdragon 870 chipset. Let's see how much the Geek Benchmark 5 scores can be different between this all of these three processors. That's what I'm going to exactly compare. In the single core, how much difference? In the multi core, how much difference? and I'll try to compare even with the previous scores as well. So what is the highest I got overall? That let me try to exactly open the Geekbench Mark 5 in all the three smartphones. So right now I'm not using any kind of high performance mode in the Realme X and Max device. So if you use high performance mode, the results may uh, be different, but I'll try definitely do two times testing in the Realme X and Max, just to with first without using high performance mode, second with using high performance mode. So let's start the test friends right now. Let's begin here and uh, here we go. 1, 1, 2 and let me press the same time, 1, 2, 3, yes, not bad, so at one go, all three phones I did click at same time, so usually it doesn't happen uh, at first go, but still it's rare, so as you can see friends, right now, let's see which phone will be having what kind of single code and the multi code. so in case if you are interested in any kind of uh, comparisons, let me know in the comment section below, so what type of comparisons you want me to do, so let's see how much the single and multi core difference we can actually expect between these phones. For in-depth comparisons, try to follow the playlist which are created for each and every smartphone. The playlist will give you the clear idea what is going on with the all the phones. So what problems we are actually facing, all those kind of in-depth in -depth details. So right now as you can see friends, these are the percentage scores and let's see which phone will be finishing the Geekbench Mark 5 faster. So 93% and 86 and 90%. So that 1200 and all the phones are completely 8 GB RAM variants only which I'm trying to do in this process of testing and first phone to finish is the iQOO 7 device right now as you can see so which has got the single core above 1000 and multi core reached to 3347 that's kind of good and uh, is a realme x and max still doing the test and moto h20 is also still doing its own testings so we got the score in the realme x and max which is kind of close to 968 single core and the multi core 2696 only so we got the score right now, right? Let's see, let's wait for the Moto H20 what's happening here. So it's gonna take some time. So right now we got the single core score about close to 769. 769, not bad. And the multi-core is about 2716. That's more than the Realme X1 Max multi-core results which we got. So Realme X Max got about 2696 and here we got 2716 in the Moto H20 with the Snapdragon 7. 78G processor and the highest is obviously the Snapdragon 870 which got uh, 3347 in the iQOO 7 device. So now the thing is that let's do that same kind of testing using the high performance mode. Let's see whether it make any kind of difference or not in the Realme X1 Max device. So instead of doing in one single video so which will give the clear idea what is going on. So is high performance mode option. So I did enable that and I need to clear all the background apps application from the completely. I did clean everything from the background application and now let me try to start doing the test. So let's see what will happen with this kind of benchmarks how much, how much we can actually expect. I did give some time maybe close to two, two, 2 to 3 minutes I did give some time for the application as well. So because immediately if you try to do multiple times benchmarks we can get lower results that is the reason I did give couple of minutes of time to get cooled down the CPU and the GPU and now we'll be able to see is there any kind of change from previous results or not. So as you can see friends, even after using the high performance mode, still we got the similar kind of results, but slightly multi-core got slightly got better. Now we got the 2759, so slightly more than the Moto H20. You can see using the high performance mode. These are the results which we got in the Realme X1 Max. So let me to show you the previous result, what I got is three. So before I did get a plenty, I think highest uh, Geek Benchmark score was previously received on August 6th. I think after a couple of updates, I did not receive any kind of uh, highest value after this 3109. After that, I did, not, I did not get any kind of highest more than 3000 any time. So my unit is a 8G prime variant, which I'm trying to do the demonstration. So you can see the clear difference, not much difference. And in the Moto H20, this is my first time doing the test. And iQOO 7 device, let me just show you the couple of uh, previous results, what I got here. So here we go with the history. Here you can see what are the different, different things we got here in terms of the values it was pretty close as you can see 3500 as well so 3500 is the highest value which i got in the iq sound device in terms of the geek benchmark scores 
as you can see exactly so that's it friends thank you for watching this video and this is a quick comparison between all the three smartphones in terms of the geek benchmark 5 scores so in case if you have any other questions let me know in the comment section below definitely i'll be doing my best to post the video as soon as possible see you in the next video i'll be staying from stay tuned for more updates meanwhile signing off bye i'm getting call from my mom meanwhile signing off friends bye right now as you can see friends